What the fuck are you doing, loser? Uh, sorry. Uh, oh, oh, you like that? <laughs> yeah, I've been working out. Glad you noticed. Oh, you like big boys? Yeah, I'm a big boy. You like that, Jessica? <sighs> you like that? <sighs> Somebody better get these vets. I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Oh. Hey, oh. Hey, still, still work. Are you serious? No. Wow, Shit. you are so perverted. You little creeps, you better run. Oh, did you just trip? Yeah. Just level with me. Is it possible? Yes, I could inspire. Sure, <laughs> spy. <laughs> What's going on? Fucking okay, right, she's a freak! <laughs> Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yeah. Hello, this is Tyler McIntyre, director of the Gawkers segment of VHS 99. And we just wanted to include some camera tests that my cinematographer Nick Pionic and I did. Uh, we ended up testing several different cameras, kind of knowing we wanted to take full advantage of that late 90s kind of period look. One of the things that we always found tricky with found footage is trying to have it feel as authentic as possible. And as you can see with this camera, here it was a little too old and kind of almost 80s feeling with some kind of color issues. And it would have just been an overall little much. And so ultimately we ended up testing two cameras side by side. One is the more modern Sony FX9 and the other is a Sony Hi8 Handycam from about 1998 or so. As you can see with the FX9 footage, it gives a really clean look, uh, you know, lots of detail in the shadows and would be much more friendly for playing back in a theatrical environment, but definitely, you know, superior picture quality to what would be available to the characters in our story um, with uh, consumer camera technology at the time. It became a bit of a question of if we were going to be able to degrade that footage and have it look right, um, but as you can see with the Handycam footage, we really don't have that problem. It already has a really specific look to it with a very narrow range and the kind of SD resolution. And what we liked most about this was this kind of unstable feeling it brought with it. You know, like the auto zoom had a fair amount of personality and it's kind of fighting the image stabilizer. Made it feel a little creepier and it seemed like a stronger creative choice because the camera itself was such a character. And with the kind of rear window like premise of the segment, we also wanted to make sure that we could do stuff like film across the street really easily and knowing that there would be a fair amount of back and forth with the action. From there, Nick essentially added on some peripherals to the Handycam so that we could run it off a more modern recorder and have a longer battery life and still kind of monitor what was going on, which all kind of lived in this backpack mount. The goal was to keep it simple enough that we could actually have our actor, Luke Mullen, doing as much of the operating as he was comfortable with. And fortunately, Luke is a filmmaker himself and was really up for the challenge. But anyway, that's how we got the authentic analog look uh, straight out of the 90s.